So you know that Attack on Titan ride I've been talking about. The one that's in Universal Studios Japan, and we actually seem to have some footage of it now. Now I don't know 100% if this is going to be okay to upload, but it's only a little bit of a snippet. And I really wanted to report on this, news reporting, fair use, you get what I mean? Anyway, so you guys were all wondering, I know, the same as I was, if how this ride is going to be, what it's going to look like. And I didn't watch the video footage myself yet, but from what we read on Kotaku, it seemed like this wasn't going to be a ride as much as it was going to be a visually stimulating walkthrough kind of attraction. So, without further ado, man, let's get into the footage and see exactly what the hell Attack on Titan the Real Universal Studios Japan has to offer. Oh, and by the way, shout outs to My Diggy TV. My Diggy TV. My Dig. My Dig. My die guy. All right, so we're in Japan. Yeah, kawaii this guy. All right, here we go. They got the they got the soundtrack playing in the background. And as you can see right here, we have Eren and um, the female Titan going at it. It's actually pretty cool. They're it looks pretty cool, you know? So like I said, it wasn't like going to be a, a ride, like something that just kind of like... No, it's, gonna, it's more like a visual kind of thing. This video is shot in 60 frames a second. What I really want to get though, when I'm there, is I want to get one of those freaking, um, one of those Scouting Legion um, poncho, hoodie, croc, go over things. Those are pretty damn, those are pretty damn badass. And as you can see here, it has um, it has parts of the AOT universe in the actual real world. So you know, houses broken, and apparently it has a Titan right there too with the humans in their mouths. You can take pictures. That's pretty badass. That's pretty badass. It would have been cool if it moved somehow, but still awesome. Those damn throwovers, though, man. I really want one of those. I know you can probably order them online, so I'll try to see if I can get myself one. I think everyone and their mom who watches anime needs to at least have an Attack on Titan uh, military costume cosplay. That must be an essential in every single anime fan's closet. So the ride doesn't really show us too well. The video doesn't show us too much of the attraction. And I should stop calling it a ride because it's not a ride. But the attraction, I read that it had a lot more content than that. It apparently had a part where you see the Scouting Legion all mangled and messed up and you see a lot of stuff. I guess they aren't going to show us everything because, you know, you have to actually go to Universal Studios Japan to see it. Hopefully, maybe, I mean, this is a, this is a big assumption, I know. But maybe by the end of the year, I can see this damn thing in person. I would love to go to Japan by the end of the year. Uh, i got to stack my YouTube money up, though. Hopefully, that time will come. But let me know what you guys think of this attraction. Is it a little bit of a letdown that it's not a ride? Yes. But does it look like it still had a lot of thought and quality put into it? It does, yes. So, I mean, hey, it might just be a lot more in engaging and entertaining than it looks on camera. Because after all, it's on camera. When you're in real life, a lot of these visual stimulating um, images and uh, models would look a lot more, you know, eye or like eye catching and awe inspiring. You know what I mean? I almost feel a little bad for spoiling myself to how it looks already because I won't really be surprised when I go there. But still, this is information. This is news. That's what I do, and I'm sure it'll still be entertaining because we're not seeing the whole thing in its entirety. But either way, guys, let me know what you think of this, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.